Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Waffle Flower May release blog hop and I have a couple of fun projects that would be great for the upcoming Father's Day. I'm going to start with the rhombus products. We have the dashed rhombus panel die and the two-step rhombus stencil. I'm going to use both of these to create a great background design. So first I have the rhombus panel die here and you can see how it's got that faux stitching design. I'm going to adhere this onto my grid mat and then I'm going to take the rhombus. It's called a two-step because you can use it twice and there are the little registration marks so you can line it up with your panel if you have a four and a quarter by five and a half panel and I'm going to start to blend in. I'm using some positively saturated inks starting with sea foam at the top and I'm giving it a light blend. There's just those little diamonds to fill in, so it doesn't take a lot of time. And then down on the bottom, I'm using a darker blue. This is Cadet, I believe Cadet. It's like a kind of a royal blue. And I'm gonna blend that into the sea foam. Try to get a nice transition between the blue and the light aqua. Lift that off, and then I'll make sure and clean the stencil. You could stop right there, because I think that diamond design is beautiful, but if you wanna turn it into like, sort of an argyle-ish pattern. I just kind of offset those diamonds a little bit to the left and filled in the gaps. This time I'm using celery ink and a little surf. So we're going lime into a darker teal. And the combination of it all is like a match made in heaven. And I thought it was a great background for a Father's Day card. This kind of background could be used for any, of any occasion, you know, because I love a nice diamond pattern. It's got that geometric feel to it. It's clean and tidy, but you got the color. And you can certainly use these products individually. You don't have to use the stencil with the panel die, and you don't have to use the panel die with the stencil. You see where I'm going? Okay, so there you have this background finished. Beautiful color. Now we're gonna move on to the sentiment. I did trim the panel down just a little bit to pop it up on a white card base give a little bit of a border. I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. This is the oversized happy word die, which I die cut out of some silver metal or matte silver cardstock. And then I did the backer out of vellum. I went ahead and die cut three more out of white cardstock. And I'm gonna glue those together, stack them up. Because dimension is life. You gotta stack it up. You don't have to stack it up. I just enjoy stacking up. Okay, so I glued the three white ones together. I'm using some Barely Arts glue, and then I'll top it off with that matte silver one, and then I'll glue the whole shebang to the vellum one. And then, one step further, I cut little slivers of foam tape behind the vellum to pop it up. I know. Sometimes I take it too far, but what can I do? Flip this over. And this is what I love about the Barely Arts glue. It's got that needle precision tip. You can get just on fine little die cuts. And I'm just gonna center that right into that vellum backer. Press it down, count to 10, put little slivers, just a few, you don't need much. But you gotta strategically hide them so it doesn't show with the vellum. Kinda cocked it on an angle. I went ahead and embossed a coordinating sentiment from the oversized happy, made it Father's Day. But there's a lot of awesome uh, like sub sentiments that can go with the happy for various occasions. It certainly doesn't have to be a Father's Day card. Could be a graduation card. It would make a beautiful uh, birthday card, Mother's Day card. Hey, I would love a card like this for Mother's Day. Okay, but we're talking about Father's Day today because we're moving on to card number two, and this one is poppin'. This is the popcorn die and stencil and there's also some popping sentiments to go with it we're all about popcorn so i die cut that little this is like a little popcorn container and then when you use the stencil which you can add some stripes to the little popcorn container and i'm going to do it in red keeping it kind of traditional and i'm using some distress ink and candied apple i have one of the waffle flower blender brushes here which blends like butter. And let me tell you, this is very fitting because our pop loves him some popcorn. So this would be a great little card to give with some popcorn for a Father's Day gift. Um, oh boy, do we love our popcorn in our family. We have one of those, uh, a whirly pop. You know those big, it's like a big silver pot that's got a crank on it and you do it over the stove. 
That's how we make our popcorn. Because when we make popcorn, we need to make big troughs of it. Like the microwave, those little bags, that just ain't going to cut it for a big family. You got to get the whirly pop out there and you got to make a bathtub full of popcorn. And we love it when we do movies. Okay, so I die cut the little popcorn kernels. And I'm going over them with some scattered straw, which was a great color for popcorn. Just lightly buttered. And then you can take the little stencil that adds a little bit of shadow to the popcorn kernels. And I, again, just using that scattered straw. And then for the little individual kernels, there's not really a stencil for those. So I just took that big stencil, kind of laid it over top just to add some little shadows willy nilly. Okay, so like here, I'm just laying it over top. It doesn't really match up perfectly. Popcorn doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you guys like um, all the different flavors of popcorn? I, for one, when we go to certain soccer tournaments, there is sometimes a guy making kettle corn. And I'll tell you, you get a big bag of it, and it's salty sweet, and it's ever so dangerous. I mean, once you stop, you can't stop. But it's so good. Anywho, okay, I'm just kind of getting the lay of the land here with the popcorn. I went ahead and did an extra one just to add more volume. For the background, I'm using one of Waffle Flowers, what's this called, uh, the Big Dot Stencil. And I'm doing that with seafoam ink on a panel of sea glass cardstock. So kind of a tone on tone, just a subtle polka dot to go behind the popcorn. I thought it gave it a little, little festive feel. So I trim that down, popping it up on a white card base, and then I'll pop up my popcorn little container here and just seeing how it fits. Again, I'm cocking it to the side, keeping it trendy for pop. And this layering them big popcorns together, adding a few little individual kernels here and there. Now for the sentiment, I'm gonna emboss. This is the, what's it called? Pop and Sentiments. And I'm gonna emboss number one pop in white onto black cardstock. There's some great other sentiments. If you didn't wanna, you know, necessarily make a card for Father's Day, you can do all kinds of different occasions with the popcorn theme. So, but I did number one pop and uh, gonna heat that with the heat gun and trim it out into a thin little sentiment strip. Pop it right in the center. Add a few little individual kernels. And this card is finished. This is just so fun and cute. I like the big, bold graphicness of it. I like the dimension. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the rest of the Waffle Flower May release blog hop. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.